Hello everyone, this is Specialist Promotable Johnson and I wanted to show you how to submit your leave through IPSA. You're going to begin by going to the IPSA website, go into the self-service tab, and you're going to click on the absence tab under there. After that, you're going to go to absence type, select the first chargeable absence. You're going to go to the absence name, just do absence, and then the reason is uh, the very first one is going to be the annual. Uh, after that, you're going to go click on your start date for your leave. For me, it would be May 8th, and my end date for my leave will be the 28th, 26th. So that is a total of 19 days. It automatically calculates it for you, so you don't have to worry about that. The date of departure is, you know, the day you leave base and day of return is the day you come back. So you can change that if, you, uh, if it applies to you. Uh, Lieutenant Bridges will be signing off on our leave, so we have to go find her. So you can just look up the last name Bridges, and she'll be right there. First Lieutenant Bridges. And you can click on her, and that'll be the supervisor ID that you need to put, because uh, she is in charge of our company leave. For comments, you can just uh, give the reason you're taking leave, whether it be, you know, oh, I just got back from a deployment, or, oh, I'm just going to go... Uh, celebrate family member's birthday, I'm going to go to my sister's graduation, so on and so forth. So once you get done with that, you can head on to the next part, which is putting in your name, telephone. The address is where you're going to go take leave, so they know where to go to find you if you were, if something were to happen to you. So, to get your phone number in there, and your contact name, and your address. I don't think it's uh, cap sensitive at all, so you don't have to worry about that, even though I kind of did. And then the geo lock code is kind of weird, but you can probably just look up your city. And, uh, so I got to see Joplin pretty quick. There's two different counties, so I picked the correct one that I was staying in, uh, put in my postal code. And so now they know where to find me if something happens to me. Then for attachments, you're going to go to add attachments. You're going to attach your IMR from MedPros. Once that upload is complete, you're going to add another attachment. And you're going to go do the same thing, and it's going to be your LES. So attach your LES, upload it. Once that upload is complete, press done. Then you can uh, scroll down, make sure everything is there. So then, If you want to, you can uh, describe the forms you are uh, turning in. I don't think it was too important for me because I already had them named, but I was just making sure. And then, of course, you can go back through your leave, make sure it's all in order, and you press Submit. And then confirm your submission. And it says submitting successfully, so that is all you have to do.